Welcome to the General Dynamics Future Vehicle Demonstration Theatre. I'm going to explain to you why we truly believe the General Dynamics UK Ascot SV is the right choice for the UK. The best protection, the best mobility, the most adaptable designs within built growth, the right vehicle for the Army's future needs. So first, let's get you up close and personal with Ascot SV. I'm delighted to present Ascot Scout Variant. Now to really be able to show you around this amazing vehicle, I need to get out of this suit and slip into my alter ego. This won't take a moment. That's a lot better. Now, let's have a closer look at this. The most exciting and capable future armoured fighting vehicle for the British Army. Ascod Scout variant is designed to offer maximum protection, reliability, serviceability and value for money. But just as important, it's designed to be an effective and adaptable platform, accommodating a huge variety of different weapons, systems and roles. This makes Scout fully capable of meeting all the British Army's projected requirements through decades to come. Ascot SV may be new and modern, but it already has proven heritage. It's closely related to the Ulan and Pizarro vehicles, already in successful operational service for the Austrian and Spanish armies. Now, what makes Ascot Scout variant special is that it's not just one vehicle, but its base design means it can be configured as a Scout Reconnaissance variant, an armoured recovery vehicle, command vehicle, direct fire platform, bridge layer, and more. All these variants are based on the same common base platform, the chassis and hull. That's a relatively new concept in armoured vehicle design. In order to make it work you need outstanding payload and performance characteristics, high levels of basic protection and true design adaptability. One platform that excels in everything? That's a big ask. So how does Scout measure up? Let's take a look at performance and payload. This engine is a militarised Daimler Chrysler heavy truck unit with excellent fuel economy, long maintenance intervals and low operating costs. And it's already reliably in service with Ulan, Pizarro and Boxer. The power pack is right up front here for added protection, creating space in the rear compartment for other uses. The power pack produces 600 kilowatts, about 750 horsepower. That means the Scout can accelerate from a standing start to 48 kilometers an hour in less than 13 seconds and on up to a top speed of 70 kilometers per hour. It'll even do 46 kilometers an hour in reverse. All in all, that means Scout is very agile, which is critical to its tactical performance. This fully digitally controlled transmission from Renk provides all the manoeuvring capability you need from an armoured fighting vehicle, like a full 360 pivot turn in under 11 seconds, a gradient climb of 35 degrees, sustained creep capability at under 5 kilometres an hour. Again, it's proven in service on the 43-tonne GE Puma tracked armoured personnel carrier, a considerably heavier vehicle which makes it a low-risk option. And this is what the power pack has to drive, the tracks and running gear. These consist of dual-rate suspension and double-pin track for superior on- and off-road performance. It gives a much smoother and more controlled ride even at speed over rough terrain. That makes life a lot less tiring for the crew, allowing them to work much more efficiently. This running gear can carry a lot of extra weight. As configured now, Scout at 34 tonnes in its base configuration has four additional tonnes available for payload. As you can see, Ascot SV is extremely well protected. Sloping front armour, side skirts, and passive armour panels. All help provide that extra protection 
against blast, rocket propelled grenades and armor piercing rounds. What you can't see from the outside is the inner strength of the General Dynamics common base platform, which forms the core of the chassis and includes a new integrated protection design structure built of lightweight armoured steel. It has a concave homogeneous hull floor with an integral composite floor as an additional layer of protection from mine blast. Roof mounted armour protected seats ensure that blasts are not transmitted from the floor to the person. This structure has been tested against anti-tank mines and IEDs of the kind found in current hostile environments. We've got spool liners, fire suppression and CBRN as standard for vital extra protection against armour flaking, fire and environmental hazards. And Scout is designed for stealth. Edges are shaped, thermal signatures are managed, and the visible radar and thermal footprint is significantly reduced. 